The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Tokyo, Japan, Okada. Ah, Okada, man. That's my Japanese homeboy right there. It certainly is. Taz trained uh, <laughs> under the tutelage of the great Muta. Oh, yes. I never wrestled the great Muta, but I know him very well. And you have been over to Japan many times. I have. I've been on many cards with Muta, but I never competed against him. If certainly. I did, I probably would have beat him. No how to train somebody, that's for sure, with Okada. And his opponent, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, representing EV2, Stevie Richard. Representing EV2? Come on, Valor. Is there an EV2 left? Well, I mean, as long as Tommy Dreamer is, is breathing the same air we breathe, it is, no, no, there is an no. EV2. It's more like EV Mill. Well, slim pickings. There's certainly a case to be made for that, Paz, but, you know, you can't... You can't damper the spirit. You can't damper the heart of Stevie. Of Stevie, of Tommy, Tommy Dreamer. Oh, that's his name, Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, I know. I mean, no, I'm not talking about their heart. I'm talking about the group itself. Saying they've got some EV2. There's no more EV2. I would think, right? When you say this, it's still alive. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, what? Uh, to me, as far as Tommy Dreamer's here, as far as you're here, I'm not part of this. I know don't, you're not don't part don't of it, but yet. there's certainly a memory that needs to be acknowledged. The memories Never that forgotten. I have haven't happened. You gotta, the, the memories are the new things that are about to happen. I don't even know what the hell that means, but I tried to say something that was cool and didn't come out right. I almost believe it. Stevie Richards and Okada, first time tying up in a TNA ring. This week on Explosion, both wow. men very quick, about evenly matched as far as size. Stevie Richards with a much broader experience Whoa. background. Yeah, I, I like Oka Okada. I like this man's style. I like his in-ring ability. You said trained in those dojos. New Japan Pro Wrestler, the great Muda. And you know you're coming from a great legacy there. But yeah, as you said, the experience, Stevie Rich, a couple arm drags into an arm bar. Experienced man has the advantage. Looking forward to uh, just after the new year, heading over to Japan with several of the TNA stars. I know that are going to be heading over there. Going to be great to be part of the Tokyo Dome. Oh, January 4th. Yeah, absolutely. Massive, massive event. They're letting you at that show, huh? You're going to be there? Oh, yeah. Big, big time award. You're big in Japan. Right? Very big. Stevie Richards with an armbar on Okada, who since arriving here to TNA Wrestling has had some great matchups. Really has. Looking to make an impact and looking to attain some championship gold. Stevie Richards, a great stepping stone to a title shot down the road for sure. There's a big chop by Stevie Richards. You just said Stevie Richards is a stepping stone? Is that what you just said? Would be a stepping stone to a title shot. So you just complimented Stevie Richards, then you called him a stepping stone. If you beat Stevie Richards, in my opinion, you're due for a title shot, absolutely. You're out of your mind. You are out of your mind. We're going to pick this up after the break. I have an issue to contend with. Yes, yes right, absolutely. Diamond. Okada and Stevie Richards continues when we come back. It's TNA Explosion. It's Okada with the upper hand on Stevie Richards. So you said before we went to break that Stevie Richards would be a great stepping stone for Okada to go towards a TNA world title. That's I would said. think so, yes. You're out of your mind. Stevie Richards, is he in the top five contenders right now? I don't you know. Obviously, you haven't looked at our ranking system. Hello. I have not looked at the ranking system. You're correct there. But I'll tell you this much. In my game, in my eyes, after the Your match game. he had with AJ Styles recently, the TNA television champion. Who's he? Stevie? Stevie Richards. Right. Great toe-to-toe -to -toe action. I, I and love took Stevie. It to the limit. I love Stevie as a competitor. I respect the man. I've wrestled the man. I know the man. I respect the hell out of Stevie Richards. I just don't think at this point that Stevie, getting a, a victory on Stevie, would mean that you're in, in line for a title shot for the TNA World title. I just think that's an asinine comment for me. That's just my opinion. That's what your opinion is. Well, you tell that to Okada if he gets the win. Here's a cover. Jackson James right there to make the three count. If, if it happened, I'll tell you what, that man is right on the ball. What? Jackson James. He's on the ball because he would have made the do his job and hit the three count? He's the best. He's the best. I think so. He's one of the best oh. up-and-coming referees ever. Brother, you are becoming the master of the overstatement. That's what you <laughs> I like the kid. What can I, I say? I like Jackson James as a referee. He's refereed some big matches in a short time here, trying to impress a lot of our, uh, the brass here in TNA, which would be immortal. And I, I mean, we saw recently on Impact that Fortune almost basically almost beat the daylights out of Jackson James. Robert Rude got upset. Felt like uh, some blown calls and a... And a uh, uh, four-way tag match. 
You with me? I'm thinking at the same time, Okada trying to make an impact with TNA management as well. And trying to... Are you Okada's agent? Well. Are you his manager, his agent? What is the deal here with this? I'm a big fan. What is he getting into the Sobe noodle houses in Japan? He gets you, you cut the line with him? Is that what the deal is? Well, he's got two on Stevie Richards. Third of the, oh, not so fast. Yeah, Stevie trying to fire up. Stevie's always in great condition. He does that, that training system, the PRX TXAR. He's always training at all times, training. He's always running up and down. Goes to Mount Fiji, runs up and down, training treadmill shots, up to shots. He's got the iPad, the iPhone. He's got everything there, all the necessary tools. There's a sleeper hold reversal by Stevie Richards on Okada, but quickly, Okada, oh. belly to back suplex. Nice way to shut down Stevie. Might get him. Oh. Almost got the win right there to Okada. Stevie's got a little too much intestinal fortitude to lay there for a three count. And now sizing up Stevie Richards, who has made several Don't trips to Japan me, himself. Over the years. I missed what he said. Do you speak Japanese? I speak uh, a, a plethora of Japanese. Okay. Go ahead, let's hear it. No! Uh, yeah, I know the bad words. <laughs> Shishimi, sushi, Shishimi, yeah, yeah, dim sum, yeah. yeah. You know how to count in Japanese? I. Ich ni son shi go robo sichi achi ku ju. That's correct, by the way. Very impressive, Taz. Here we go. Right uh, uh, hand stops Okada in his tracks to the midsection. Look at Stevie now. Trying to fire up and doing a good job. He's got Okada reeling and rocking. Boom! Look at that. Big haymaker. Nice. And that's where the conditioning comes into play. It'd be hard pressed to find a guy in better shape. Oh, no doubt about that. And Stevie Richards. Hours upon hours in the gym. Training at all times. There's a side slam. Stevie Richards. Almost a three count. And you talk about that kind of training, that kind of intensity. You know? Well, I think the big thing with Stevie's career, once he got, and he, uh, he kind of got rid of, he dropped his doctorate, and he stopped being a doctor, he just became a better wrestler, let's be honest. More focused. Oh, look at this. Oh, my so God. Kinda, wait a minute. Oh, what a neck breaker. On a man with a surgically repaired neck. He's got him. So close, and Stevie wow. Richards took a hellacious Styles clash from AJ Styles several weeks back and has not been the same since. And this man has had neck surgery, Stevie. So, as you pointed out, the Styles clash, and then Okada with that high-impact maneuver on the neck. Now a full Nelson. Stevie realizes he was in harm's way. He breaks it, goes for the Stevie kick. Back to the full Nelson. All dragged out of it. Oh, there's the kick. Stevie kick on Okada. That's gonna do it. Here is your winner, Stevie Richard. Wow, excellent matchup by both men there. Good outing uh, by Okada. Stevie gets to do. Certainly was impressive showing by both men. But in the end, it was Stevie Richards getting his hand raised by the referee and getting the win in the win column. Impressive victory for Stevie Richards this week on TNA Explosion.